If you are into publishing your research article to a journal, you must know how to write a powerful cover letter. A poorly written cover letter can be one of the major reasons why your paper is getting rejected without even being reviewed. Today I will tell you the importance of a great cover letter and how to write one. At last I will mention few basic tips. So let's get started. A cover letter is one of the most important documents that is looked upon by the editor of a journal when you submit your paper. Cover letter is one of the key documents that makes the editor determine whether your paper is suitable enough for their journal and to get it reviewed. In addition to this, editors are interested that their papers are read by more and more people to make the journal more successful not only in terms of impact but financially too. A cover letter is also a way to convey non-technical significance of your work that is not mentioned elsewhere in the manuscript. Before beginning to write a cover letter, author should be confident enough about the work, its significance, its implication to the science or society. Secondly, make sure your paper fits well under the scope of the journal. Coming on to how to write a cover letter. You begin your cover letter with editor or the editor in chief followed by the journal name. Next comes the subject in which you write whether it's an original research article or a review. Next comes the main text of the letter in which you mention that you are submitting your paper mentioning its title in that journal for consideration. Then mention a brief summary of your work, the methodology or the approach used followed by the major findings in few sentences. How your work advances the existing knowledge about the topic or overcomes existing challenges in that area. How your work has addressed or resolved them. Mention its benefits to the society or if it has some commercial implications. Ultimately, you have to sell your paper by convincing the editor that your work is very, very important. Somehow, you have to generate a thought in the editor's mind that not considering the paper would be their loss and not yours. If your research work is in continuation to some previous study you have done, you may also mention it here. In the concluding lines, do mention that the manuscript is approved by all the authors and that there are no conflict of interest. Authors may ask the editor to contact him or her in case of any queries. Complete the letter writing sincerely or regards followed by the name, institutional address and email ID of the corresponding author. Now some of the basic tips for the cover letter. A cover letter should not be more than a page long. Always use popular fonts like Arial or Times New Roman. Keep the font size 12, single spaced without indenting the paragraphs. You may left align or keep the text justified. Avoid any kind of typos or grammatical errors as this puts a very bad impression on the editor. Avoid jargon or casual words. Keep your letter formal. And the last point is double check the cover letter before submitting. So that's all for the today's video. If you like it, do share with your colleagues. If I miss something important, do mention in the comment. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to get notified about my latest uploads. Check my playlist about the research related topics and publishing and see you in my next video.